the night before SEMA. Uh, we leave tomorrow morning. Uh, we got to pack up the cars and everything tomorrow. But hey, guys, are, are we even stressed out over this? No. Like, you know, well, SEMA builds are always like last if minute. You, you look behind me. This is the to do list. A lot of ticks on that list. And you go down the list, everything is checked off on the dock. Everything is checked off, except for the body stands and U bolts on the 444 car. So we are officially ready for SEMA. <laughs> Yahoo! Who ya? I mean, we had a lot to do. We got it done in two weeks ago. This car came to us from Hot Dog. It wasn't even sitting on a chassis. It was literally just the body, paint, nothing was together. We got the motor inside the chassis. Maddie built up this motor in a couple days. It literally went right in like a, like a nice shoe that you've been wearing forever. Yeah. And a huge amount of help just from oh, everybody. everyone. Yeah, I mean, we had the yeah. Mustang shop, Hot Dog, Jake, Nick. <laughs> everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Slick, yeah. Slick Will did our wiring harness Will. before. Yeah. Yeah. We got everybody involved in this, but it was really neat because even guys I just met. So California, uh, California Customs. Customs and Collectibles yep. went down there. Uh, Sharif, thank you very much for helping us out too. And Scotty came in. He was rad. Like I met Scotty what two weeks ago. Yep. Didn't know him from a hole in the wall. And he goes, "Hey, I like your project. Like what you're doing." The guys, he's got like 30 some Mustangs at his shop. They're right down in Vista. It's like a little hidden gem. He shows up, bad knees. He's on the floor putting our door cards in, rebuilding windows. We got the tracks wrong. We couldn't figure that stuff out. He came in and fixed it all up. Um, Hot Dog came in for three or four days, him and his guy, Daniel, and um, they buffed the car out, fixed a couple nicks and scratches. There was a huge, huge gouge in the side here. That was our big oops when it dropped off the trailer when we were loading it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all of us were like, oh man. So this got cracked all the way back. I re-tig welded it. Um, hot dog was in here with like compressed air, so I was, I was like tigging. Yeah. He was cooling it, I was tigging, pulling it. And <laughs> he was like, sweating stop. behind the mask. He's he like, stop, no more. And then um, anyway, he re repainted the fender here inside the shop on the spot. You can't even tell it was ever touched. No. So that's all done. Um, of course, we ran into a bunch of snafus. That's oh. typical builds, but man, the two weeks to build a car that was literally an empty shell. Nothing, we loaded it full of batteries. We got all our contractors, all our high voltage, low voltage, batteries, displays, iPads, all of it's done. This car literally, I'm, I'm sitting here polishing with a rag right now, getting everything perfect for it. You're going to be the most calm crew that the day before SEMA is <laughs> going. Well, there's, there's, what did you do with this thing this morning? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, we, we got our Haggerty insurance this, uh, yesterday. Yeah. We called up. Um, hey, actually, big shout out to Gino Amato at Amato Insurance. He got this done in literally less than 24 hours. Three, no, it was like four hours. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, he called Gino and said, hey, my buddy Eddie needs insurance. Hooked us up through Haggerty, got us all taken care of. This morning, I called up Snow, called up you, said, hey, let's go to breakfast. Yep. Snow and I were like sitting inside here like, wait a second, we're fully insured. We're registered. Let's take the dock. Let's take the dock out. So we drove it up the street a couple blocks away. I know it's kind of sketchy the day before seeing it. <laughs> we're like, what if someone hits us? What if? Nah. And uh, we did peel, peel the tires off a few times. I couldn't keep my foot yeah. out of it. And yeah, I got a little, I got a little you sideways. Got, you got sideways <laughs> around the corner here. And he was giving uh, one of our neighbors a ride this morning. I just see him whooping around the corner. I'm like, oh, Gary, he's ripped in my car. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, uh, we got smiles on our faces. We're not tired. We never pulled a night here past, what, 1030? I don't think so, no. Yeah, I mean, no. the simplicity behind this EV stuff. And I'm not sitting here going, oh, EVs are, no. It's, they're just different. But man, this was, Easy. Almost too easy. It, it's like yeah. we didn't have any, you know, tuning issues, injector issues. I mean, the more complexity you add to a build, the harder it is to do. Yeah. There's Absolutely. a couple of moving parts in here. Yeah. That's it. Two big wires run into it and a 23 pin connector. It's idiot proof, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's sailor proof. It's sailor proof. So, yeah, we're, we're super stoked. We got the CMI. We got Legacy EV. Um, we're going to be in their booth. Uh, so, come check us out. Uh, if you guys are at SEMA, there's going to be a lot of fun buzz. The electrified area is going to be big this year. There's what? 30, 30 cars. cars. So, yeah. Yeah, this is going to have 30 cars as opposed to the six or eight last year. Yeah, we had nothing. So, you know, yeah. real, real big thanks to Legacy for, for having us in their booth, too. Yeah. Can't wait to be a part of that show. And uh, we got a lot of fun people coming in this year. We got a lot of fans, followers, builders that are actually using our motors now. This is not the only Revolt Systems 
uh, motor going to uh, SEMA. As a matter of fact, there's another, make sure you guys find it, there's another 65 uh, Mustang with a Revolt build. Yep, it's for our buddies from, at Inspire, Inspire EV. EV. Yeah, so they've done a really great job. They've they actually been, they're ahead of us. Yeah. Their car was driving what, two we weeks were. ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah, so we, we barely got ours going a couple days ago, but uh, hey, that's, that's SEMA, so this is last minute build. We're used to doing last minute stuff on a racetrack, I gotta say Siemens easier because we don't have to go there and hit a world record or, or race. You know, we could have pushed this thing in if we had to, but that we weren't, no, no, we're, right, we're, we're not driving this in. <laughs> and when we do the final, what is that, when we leave SEMA? We do the oh parade? yeah, yeah, when they, when they do the parade when you leave SEMA, smoke show, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're smoke smoking. Show. We're, we're gonna light up this 345, we're gonna catch it on fire. I need new tires anyway, and it's time to test, test these things out and dust them. Two tire fry. <laughs> That's it. All right, so we'll see oh, you guys. Don't forget uh, November 18th. Uh, Go for it. Uh, All right. This will be your uh, chance to see the dock in action on the racetrack. So her first, her maiden uh, run will be November 18th, San Diego at Barona. 1700, I believe, the races start. So it's 5 o'clock for civilian folks. And uh, the dock is going to be on the track. Um, what else are you guys? racing? Yeah. Oh, you, you did you did hit lunch. one snafu though with the uh, putting the gear oil in and had oh. to get help from Jake. <laughs> that <laughs> that was a whole new method we developed here at Revolt Systems. It's called suck and blow with snow. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, what happened was we had a little bit of an issue getting to the fill port on the torque box. Tight. So what we did is we picked the car up, got her up off the ground. And all everybody's throwing ideas out there, and I don't know. It may have been the Welshman here. The Wheeling Welshman says, "Hey, you know what? Well, why don't you vent the top, and if you hold the the hose, it'll create suction, so the the fluid doesn't drain out the bottom. So we stick the fluid up in the bottom of the drain plug, get the fluid up in the air, squeeze. We got a little bit of leak. So Jake comes over. How much Jake? Suck on it. The man Jake is like, "Hey, why don't I?" You know, put some suction on the hose, <laughs> and it'll keep it from coming. That's <laughs> stupid. Okay, we'll try it, <laughs> and be damned if it didn't work. We so Jake, what, six drops of ATF six on drops of ATF on it. We're filling it from the bottom, from it the drain plug. So this is totally cool. So Jake, we're all teasing him. Jake's like, suck harder, Jake. So Jake is sucking, and I'm squeezing, <laughs> and we fill the torque box <laughs> from the bottom. Are staying around, oh, going, this is just. Right. Eddie, you quit sucking, dude. <laughs> dude, that is taking one for the team right there, son. Hey, hey if any of you that. ever need lessons in teamwork, you can call Jake at Java Tech. That's right. So, yeah, that's um, right. We're just doing some final, you know, as I see, I'm just polishing this thing up to make it look pretty. Um, probably get dusty in the trailer. Yes. <laughs> So uh, last minute stuff, last minute prep. Um, everything's getting loaded up tomorrow. Um, doing some races here in the next couple weeks. This is gonna be my daily driver after I come back. So it's gonna be chipped up. It's gonna get dirty. We it's cool. coffee. We're gonna be mobbing on cars and coffee. Oh, oh yeah, we got some stuff coming out for cars and coffee. So yeah. we're gonna hit up all the local cars and coffee places here first because they're close to us. So we got the Hillbilly Deluxe. Yep. We got the dock going. Alta. Um, the Alta. We're gonna the take Alta. The, the Alta's gonna go to the Tesselino. Yep. You're driving the Tesla, you know, you're driving the dock. I'm, oh, I'm driving the dock. Like you got hit with the And uh, hopefully your buddy Johnny comes out with the, with this. this oh, the Hilux. The Hilux. Lux. Luxie. Yeah. It's going to be a freak show. So uh, I heard from Johnny that Luxie's almost done. He's putting the BMS oh, yeah. on it today. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I just, he just texted me earlier. I'm like, hey, I got the BMS going. So I'm like, well, let's hit the streets. Let's start mobbing this stuff around and having some fun. Going to the racetrack because that thing hauls ass. Oh, yeah. It's got a Model 3 motor in Did it. Did you guys introduce him to the newest member of the Revo team? Oh, <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna do that. Hold on. Hold it up. Alright, you're good. This is Copilot. He's been upgraded to Pilot. What's his name? Copilot. Copilot. Yeah, I got him to keep me company. Copo. Uh, on Copo. Right up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll call him Copo. Copo. There you go, Copo. Yeah, me, Copo. <laughs> <laughs> we don't feed him much. He's kind of skinny. Dried up. A little mean bug. He's been to Bonneville with us. That's right. He's been, uh, he been everywhere with us. He was up at uh, Holly High Voltage. Holly High Voltage. Chuck Walla? He's been to Chuck. Yeah, he was at Chuck, Chuck last time. Yeah. Well, that yeah. guy's got a lot of freaking pedigree. Got a lot of miles on him. Good, good pedigree. pedigree. <laughs> 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 well, 
Well, yeah, did, you check out, did you check out the console? No, oh, yeah, it's a uh, oh, little tour. All right, so we're charging up the batteries for, for SEMA just to get it all charged so we don't have to do anything there. We got a pretty big battery pack in here so we can do whatever we need to do. Probably a 200 mile range. Um, this is our, our dash display. Uh, it's on an iPad that was built into the car. Um, this is all fabricated aluminum for, from our buddy Al over at ABS Fabrication. Um, he does killer, killer work. Um, this roll cage, everything inside of here was done by Al. Um, he's done NHRA, drag stuff. Yeah, the guy's been in this industry for a very long time. Um, probably one of the best fabricators, if not the best fabricator I know. Um, helped us with this car tremendously for over two years. Helped us with the yellow car for 444 and Bonneville. The guy's just, I can't say enough good things about him. Um, the hot dog pulled the stripes in. Um, interior looks a lot better than it did. Uh, our buddy Rex came in from Rex Upholstery, helped us with the headliner. He's going to finish off the car probably in the middle of next year and get a really nice interior in here. But this is a race car. So, you know, it's not supposed to have a super nice interior, but uh, it's kind of evolved into like a race slash show car. Um, AEM has done a really great job helping us out as well. We got their dash display in here. We're going to be running their control systems on our motors as well. Um, so we have everything kind of set up um, for our display. So we have basically when you turn on the car, um, a little boot sequence there, and then basically our layout of how much voltage we have, um, our GPS speeds, everything's there. This is kind of a beta um, dash that I'm playing with right now. I've been programming for the last couple of weeks, kind of playing around with their controls. But they have a really nice EV system for, uh, for AM EV. Um, they make BMSs, they make um, Tesla control units for the large drive units, uh, they make dashes. Um, all the fun little stuff that you guys would need for EVs, they've taken care of us on as well. So this car is going to keep on evolving. Uh, we keep adding a lot of the little stuff over the next couple months. Um, but, you know, for now we wanted to keep it like nice and simple. Take it to the racetrack here in the next couple of weeks after SEMA. See what she does on the strip. And uh, hopefully turn some heads and have some more fun with this whole thing. But um, that's what's going on here. That's it for the night before SEMA. So we're going to wrap up. We're going to do a couple more things here. Get ready to pack up in the morning. And if you guys get a chance, you know, you like the videos, like, subscribe, follow us, and we will see you guys at SEMA. See you soon. Or SEMA soon. Um, that thing. <laughs> what? SEMA soon. SEMA, SEMA <laughs> soon. Solid. That was so corny. <laughs> that was a solid dad joke. I like that joke. That's a dad joke, dude. <laughs> no, I like, I, I like how no one laughed. You're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, my no, like, like, like stupid. <laughs>